In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite ways to beat the heavy blitz in Madden 21, specifically the man blitz um, with, with cover zero or you know short coverage over the top of it. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know uh, what I am or who I am or what I do here, my name's Cody and my channel is all about becoming a better Madden player. I'm trying to learn how to get better every single day through studying pro players, through studying uh, my losses against opponents, and through uh, obviously learning from you guys as well as my community. So if you want to get better at this game, I believe that we are building one of the best communities in Madden right now for helping people become better players. So if you want to learn and you want to jump in with the team, uh, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe and it allows you to know whenever we release new videos. Okay guys, so in today's video, I wanted to share with you a little adjustment that I like, and you do need a good receiver to run this, um, or to do this, but this is really, really, really good against cover zero blitz. Um, the reason why is because you get like an instant separation with the route, especially if you have a route tech receiver, um, or if you have a, um, you know, um, a, not a slot of Matic receiver, but a receiver with uh, really good route running, okay? So anyways, what we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about a cover zero blitz out of the nickel 335 wide, uh, which is the Mike Blitz O. And this will also apply to the mid blitz beta uh, and different things like that. But it's just the idea that it's a cover zero blitz and they're, they're going to shade coverage down. Even if they don't shade coverage down, it'll still work. But basically all we're going to do is we're going to run PA boot over just like we always do. The only difference is we're going to motion the crossing route from left to right and we're going to snap him right as soon as he passes that tackle um, and, and what you'll see is you'll get an instant kind of almost glitchy type of thing now you do need to be on the on the left hash mark if you want to run this on the right hash mark i would 100 percent recommend that you flip your play okay but this this is specifically a left hash mark play um if you're running bunch tight in and you don't like to flip like i don't but anyways it's really simple to do this. Now, this is a little bit of a free excerpt here from our Bunch Tight End Offensive eBook. If you want to get the entire eBook, it's just 15 bucks. It shows you how to run this offense against pretty much anything that anybody could do and how to be very successful with it. Uh, that ebook is just 15 bucks and it's in the description of this video also if you guys have any questions um you can always text me my number is in the top left hand corner of your screen and it is my personal cell phone number and that uh, you'll never receive auto text or anything like that it just will come from uh, me personally so anyways uh, let's just show you the route here so all we're going to do is we're going to motion adams to the left to right and we're going to snap him right there and what you'll notice is he'll get this kind of like instant separation over the top of this over over the top of this zone now you must understand a little bit here real quickly here that he is going to go against and this would be like if he was running up against a one step or something like that you know in mutt um obviously jair doesn't have one step but um you'll see here you know easy separation to the outside on that cut easy separation to the outside because he basically what what happens here is he takes an initial cut um, at the snap of the ball so what, what that means for like, you see here it's a double cut. So you see here he takes a cut and then he's gonna take another cut. When you motion him, it speeds up the cutting. And so the cutting will actually happen relatively quickly here. So it'll cut and then it'll cut again and it's an instant laser against man coverage. Now, um, a lot of times what you'll be able to do with this, and this is really good for like uh, cover, cover one, uh, specifically like if they're running cover one this route kills it because um, zone drops don't really get there because it's such an outbreaking route but as you can see I mean it's pretty much always there now let's say that you want to run this route uh, and you want to throw it a little quicker right you don't want to you don't want to wait on it to get open well what I would recommend doing um, if you find yourself in that boat is I would take the running back and put him on an in route I would take the tight end and put him on a streak and I would take the uh, square receiver and put him on a curl so x tight x receivers on a streak the r1 receiver is on an in route and then the uh, uh, square receiver is on a curl route and we're going to motion snap him here and now you have that same combination but the difference is you see there i mean look at all that separation and you can when you when you're not running out of a play action animation you can do a you can actually relatively easily 
be able to get this route to really bounce off of it uh, and get open a lot easier. So again, um, this is kind of what I'm saying here. So again, if you watch, watch him kind of cut and then he'll just kind of leave him in the dust. And at that point, that's where you want to kind of throw it. You want to kind of pass lead it up to be able to get it into a, a, a window that's really advantageous for you. Now, you might be saying, well, what if they put two purples out there with flat zones and all that stuff? Well, the beauty of this is, again, uh, you have this post route on the left side. Now, I'm not saying that the post route is always going to be open, but what I am saying is if you watch how this route's gonna work, let the animation kind of go, you see that the, flat, the cloud flat, that's a 25 to 30 yard cloud flat, will not cover that route because of the leverage of the route, because the route has outside leverage over the safety or over any linebacker on that side of the field, that's gonna be 100% guaranteed cash money for you. Uh, let me show you an example of me taking this guy and putting him in a hard flat on that left side. So these flats, again, are shaded, so they're, they're obviously uh, more than your average flat zone. I think it's a 25 or 30 yards. Um, but you see, again, look at how much outside leverage he has. You can't get out there. You literally cannot get out there. And that's the beauty of this play is they basically have to run um, a cover two on you. Uh, so if they run, so they, they basically have to run cover two on you uh, to be able to stop this consistently. Now the beauty of that is when they start running a lot of cover two, you'll see here, you can basically kind of get it, almost angle it as a low pass uh, and, and be able to hit that against the cover two. Another thing that I didn't hit on um, yet is let's say that they run, you know, Tampa 2 and they're running the zone drop version of a Tampa 2 where they really, really drop back like super deep, okay? Uh, if you motion this guy, you can let it go a little bit more. So just let him go a little bit more here and you'll see that you can kind of get that almost like an aggressive catch type thing that you can do on him, um, you know, just with the spacing of the route. You know, I haven't talked a ton about this route, like if you motion him all the way across, but again, for the purpose of beating a blitz, this will kill blitz. I mean, this will, kill, especially meta, like man blitzes, you see, you get this nice little back shoulder catch um, that you can get if you get him all the way out there. But let's talk about zone blitz for just a second. So let's say they zone blitz you. Um, if they zone blitz you, a lot of times the tight end will be open, like on a streak. Um, if you run this version like this, you'll be able to pop that streak right up the seam and be able to basically instantly go for a really, really good game. So this is one of the plays that I like to use, especially when people are sending heavy pressure at me. And if they like to run man coverage, which most people do this year, if they like to run man coverage, this will kill it. I mean, you will literally just roast it. I mean, on that cut right there, you just get that nice little swerve catch. Right there, we didn't get it as much as we would like, but overall this will consistently beat it um, if you're looking to beat that because when you motion this crossing route it really really does uh, make it uh, much more advantageous as far as a man coverage uh, goes so if they're running man coverage this really does like you see right there and then on that second cut you can really get it out there and go make a play so um, this is one of my favorite plays for the blitz. You'll find yourself like if you're if you're getting beat by the blitz a lot, especially like a, a press coverage, you know, shaded down man coverage type of look. This is is really going to be the play that you're going to have a lot of success with. The other thing that you also have going for you um, is that post route. Now in regs, that post route's not as good as I would like it to be. You definitely need to smart route the post route if you're going to leave the post route out there. But one of the other things that I wanted to show you really quickly here. Um, it's just, again, just a simple combination here. But if you see, you know, again, right in there, and there it is, you know, automatic dot. So that's just one little piece. But this combined with everything in the Bunch Tight End ebook will really help you, especially, um, you know, if you're having trouble beating the Blitz, I think the Bunch Tight End is the best Blitz beating formation in the entire game because of how much protection you can get and how much, you know, your base offensive pass protection is play action which play action does give you really, really good blocking against the Blitz a lot of times. So if you want to get the full ebook, it's just 15 bucks. There's a link in the description for you to be able to pick that offense up. One other thing I wanted to say before we go is you might be sitting on the fence about buying an ebook. Um, you may not know what to expect. Basically what an ebook is, is it's written in video um, 
tutorials that walk you through step by step how the how the whole offense works together how the game plan works what you need to know from a play setup what you need to know for your roster which you know we go through like game studies and show you kind of you know what went right what went wrong in film analysis so it's kind of a compilation of everything that you need to run this offense into one package now if you want to get a free preview of the ebook that kind of shows you some of the overview uh, of the of the offense that's available in my text message membership, which is completely free for you to sign up for. All you have to do to sign up for it is just text me. My cell phone number is 812-216-3644. And here's the cool part about the text membership. It's not just the bunch tied in. It actually has several schemes um, that I add to it every single week. It has the U trips, it has Ace Slot Offset, it has Big Nickel, it has Nickel 335 Wide, it has Nickel 335. All of that stuff is in it. Um, and we add to it every single week. Every week we release a one hour video into that text message membership that basically shares with you a scheme or kind of a, an update to it. So thanks for your time. I really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you on our stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern right here on YouTube.